Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. As the Democratic Party leadership is exposed for the evil in which it so comfortably traffics, the U.S. Catholic bishops need to now divorce themselves at last, permanently, from the Democrats. Now, this is going to be a tearful breakup owing to the long-time marriage, but enough is enough. From the WikiLeaks exposures that top Democrats have been involved in a sustained plot to foment rebellion in the Catholic Church under the cover of social justice, to proof that Clinton campaign staffers were involved in payouts to have people incite violence at Trump rallies, to DNC Chair Donna Brazile having cheated for Hillary in the primaries by secretly passing along privileged debate questions, to proof from WikiLeaks that top Dems conspired to keep Hillary's illegal email server away from public disclosure and congressional investigation, to proof that Clinton and top Dems conspired to cover up unethical foreign donations to the Clinton Foundation, to proof that Hillary and top Dems conspired to use her power of office to personally profit by hundreds of millions of dollars, to proof that Hillary and top Dems colluded with major media outlets to keep the public in the dark about all of this, to proof that highly placed Dems used the power of their offices to conspire with the White House, the State Department, the Department of Justice, and the FBI to cover up her crimes, even to Hillary herself declaring religious beliefs will have to change. And deep-seated cultural codes, religious beliefs, and structural biases have to be changed. To perjury, to tampering with evidence, to obstruction of justice, to destruction of evidence, do we need to go on here? Whatever Catholic leaders think the Democratic Party may have once been, that train has long ago pulled out of the station. And by the way, did he mention that the entire party platform of the Democrats completely ignores God, promotes abortion in the most extreme of circumstances, and pushes same-sex marriage in every area of life? But for the sake of the argument here, let's just ignore all of the political cheating, lying, lying about lying, crimes, collusion, conspiracies, unethical practices. Ignore it all. These people kill babies. What else do you need to know? And frankly, what else can you expect? Most reverend fathers, your excellencies and eminences, these people kill babies. Why are you anywhere near them? Why do you take their money for their phony social justice programs being used to cause rebellion in the church? They kill babies. They kill babies. They kill babies. You need to publicly divorce the church from these lying, cheating, murderous monsters, every bit as much as the noble bishops did with the Nazis. This party is worse than the Nazis, and if you don't believe me, check out the body count. The Nazis murdered millions. This party has and continues to murder tens of millions. Corrupt morals. It destroys families all the time, mocking God and the church in the process. And now, with a potential constitutional crisis looming on the horizon, Hillary and her evil-minded gang will do what Hitler did and take the entire nation down with them. Cardinal Dolan, for example, should not be yucking it up with the leader of the Nazi-crats. Other bishops should not be sitting by quietly and not publicly taking him to task for his elbow rubbing. And every bishop should be publicly and loudly condemning this shameless display of immorality. All we hear from the social justice bishops is common good this and common good that. How about the common good of the nation when the nation itself is on the line? Men of God, successors of apostles, recall your high office. They kill babies. God love you. I'm Michael Boris.